In this tech snip, I'm going to show you how to create a simple plugin in PoshBot. Let's get started. PoshBot plugins are really just PowerShell modules, so all the normal tasks needed to create a PowerShell module also apply to PoshBot plugins. Okay, let's create a new module which will load into PoshBot. First, we need to create a new directory for the module and then navigate into it. We'll then create a new hash table containing all the parameters for our module manifest. In this case, our new module will be called My PoshBot Plugin. We'll specify the path to the module manifest file to create and the path to the PowerShell module file which we'll create in a second, and then a version for the module. We're setting the required PowerShell version in our module manifest to 5.1 because PoshBot is built on PowerShell classes, and classes were introduced in PowerShell version 5, but there were some improvements in version 5.1, so we're going to require that here. And we're also going to specify the author, description, and tag properties. If you saw my snip about installing plugins in PoshBot, I showed you how to install them from the PowerShell gallery. By default, PoshBot searches the PowerShell gallery for modules that have the PoshBot tag applied to them. So it's a good idea to always add that tag to a module that you're writing specifically for PoshBot. Next, we're going to splat this hash table to new module manifest to create the file. And we're also going to create the module file itself using new item. Now let's take a look at the PSM1 file that we just created. We're going to add a simple hello world function here that just returns some text using write output. We're also going to make sure this is a public function in the module by exporting it with export module member. When PoshBot executes this function, it retrieves the output from the PowerShell output stream and displays it in the configured chat network. In this example, we'll be using Slack. And that's all there is to creating the module. PoshBot is designed to work using normal PowerShell modules, so no additional work is required. In other snips, I'll go over more advanced things you can do for your modules that take advantage of more PoshBot features. I've already configured PoshBot to run as a service, so all we have to do now is start it. You can check out my other snip about configuring PoshBot to run as a service to learn more about how to do that. But before I start the service, I want to show one property of the PoshBot configuration. Notice that the plugin directory is set to c colon slash techsnips slash plugins. We just created our PowerShell module here. Internally, PoshBot added this path to the PS module path environment variable of the PowerShell session it's running in, and we'll look for plugins here in addition to the other directories in PS module path. Now let's start the service up and head on over to Slack. To install PoshBot plugins, we'll use the install plugin command. Since we've configured PoshBot to look for plugins in c colon slash techsnips slash plugins, we don't need to specify anything other than the name for the plugin. And you can see PoshBot returns saying the plugin has been installed and it displays the version and our exported function. Now let's run our invoke hello world command. Looks like everything is working, and that's how you create a simple plugin in PoshBot.